stir sticks are made to stir paint, right? But what if I tell you that you can decorate your home with this? The best DIYs and hacks in today's video. Welcome to my channel guys, so excited for today's video because I'm going to share with you the best 10 DIY projects that I have done using paint stir sticks. You can decor your home with these and they are really really cheap to buy. You can get them from Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's or any paint or hardware store. I really hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration from this video. If you like it, a big thumbs up and I just hope that you are ready because I am. Let's DIY together. For this next project, I'm going to be using these five gallon stir sticks from Walmart. They only cost about like 97 cents or something like that. Um, so inexpensive and it comes with three. So I'm going to be using these and I'm going to be measuring about like 12 inches long um, each one and then I'm going to mark and then I'm going to be cutting the sticks with my saw machine. Once I have that, I'm going to be putting these three pieces together to form like a board like a kitchen um, cutting board um, and to be able to stick them I'm going to be using some like giant popsicle sticks that I have at home I cut them and then I stick them on the back side with hot glue From there, I decide to make a small hole in the stick that has like the small design and this is going to make my piece look more like a cutting board and I really like that. From there, you can paint your piece, you can do so many things, um, maybe shock paint, any color that you like. I decide to use this stain, it's a special walnut stain color and then I stain the wood. From there, I decide to add a stencil again using a very simple font and I write the word bakery I stick it on these like cutting board and then I'm going to be painting the letters using my chalk paint in plaster color once it is dry you can remove the stencil this is how your project is going to look for the moment you can leave it like that if you want I decide to add a little bit more of this shock paint on the edges of this project just to add um, more dimension and to make it look a little bit more like older and with that weather look um, and I really like it From there, you can add maybe a piece of ribbon or um, some rope on the hole that it has. I decide to put a small piece of this faux leather to give it more um, color and add texture to this project. Once I was done, guys, this is how my project turned out and I love it so much. I love the colors that I use. You can do so many things. You can use any color that you like. I think this looks super realistic and again, it's so inexpensive. It cost me less than like $2 because of the ribbon and maybe the paint, but I always use paint for so many things. So I already have it. I don't know. This project turned out amazing and budget friendly and I hope that you like it. Tree is bringing so many new stuff at the crafter squares section and I came across with these craft wood and I was so excited about these it comes in two different sizes and I decided to go with the largest ones um, I got four pieces and I'm going to start by making a frame guys I'm going to be sticking these together you can use um, like popsicle sticks and hot glue or wooden glue just to make it stronger and you can add that to stick the sticks together but I decided to go a little bit extra and add like a tooth hanger in between of them to make sure that it's going to stay pretty strong and I did the same on the four sides of the frame Thank you. 
now I want to make a window so I have these um, steer sticks um, that are from Lowe's you can find them also at Home Depot and with only one package only one dollar you can make a window so I'm going to start cutting mines two of them are going to be 14 inches long and in the other stick I'm going to cut it in three pieces that are going to be five inches long each that way you're going to be able to make the divisions of your window to stick them i'm going to be using um, just some popsicle sticks and hot glue but if you have patience you can use wooden glue to stick all of the sticks okay once all of the sticks are dry you maybe can use some wax or stain i decide to go with black paint um, because i really want this piece to pop out from my all of the wood that i have in my home so that's what i did i paint my window black I put it on my wall on my entryway and this is the result this is how this project turned out and I really like it and I'm so in love with like the new refresh that I gave it to my entryway I hope that you like it too and if you like it hey give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support my channel block bag storage organizers uh, that are like super trendy right now everybody is buying these but huh, I will love to organize my Ziploc bags because I have them in all the sizes but these organizers are pretty expensive from like $59, $69, um, $48 so I decided to DIY my own Ziploc bag organizer I went to Dollar Tree and grabbed these organizer beans um, that you see you can find these in the kitchen section um, so I got one large one and two medium ones um, the medium ones comes in a set of two which is pretty nice I'm only going to be using three of the smaller ones and only one of the big one these organizers are pretty nice because you can attach them together and you can create like any form or any shape that you want with them so that's what I this is this is the way that I put them all together now I want to change the color I want the outside to look a little bit more modern so I decide to go with some from a spray paint in black color I spray paint these outside and then let it dry now that I have these painted I'm going to be working with like the lid of these so for that you can use maybe like jumbo popsicle sticks but at this time I decide to go with these stir sticks that you can get at Lowe's Walmart Home Depot for like less than a dollar and just start measuring all of them to see where I need to cut them I use only two packages of these which means um, that you're going to use a a total of six um, stir sticks with my saw machine I cut five stir sticks um, about 12 inches long and two other ones about eight inches long so I have that part ready I want to change the color I still want these to look uh, made out of wood so I decide to use just some wax and antique color and to make it a little bit lighter just add uh, just add a little bit of water Once I paint everything, I'm going to be drying all of the wood with my heat tool. Once they are all dry, it's time to start sticking them together. First, I'm going to be making like a square piece um, with four of these stir sticks. I'm going to stick them together with my um, my hot glue gun, but you can use a wooden glue just to make it a little bit more stronger. Now that I have this square piece, I'm going to be using the containers just to uh, measure where I need to stick the, re the rest of the stir sticks. 
And guys, I am DIYing this project just because I want to save some money. But if you like the ones from Amazon and you don't want to like DIY anything, of course you can buy them. I'm going to leave you the link of the ones that I was inspired by in the description box of this video so you can check them. But if you want to just save some money, you can recreate this DIY and you can send me some pictures of your projects on my Instagram, DIY by Jazz. So make sure that you follow me over there too okay, now because this is going to be for my um, Ziploc bags I decided to add some stickers that I did with my Cricut um, that says quart snack sandwich and gallon um, or you can paint these by hand or you can use um, like a stencil or something like that and now the final part is just to add all of the Ziplocs where they need to go. Super easy to grab them. These storage containers are the perfect size for these Ziploc bag sizes. And I just love it so much. It's so functional. And you can store these on a drawer or maybe on your pantry. And I really like it. It's a, it's a nice way to keep those areas organized. And I did with this project uh, with only like five or six dollars and I'm just so happy with how it turned out. project you can use sticks from Dollar Tree or you can use stir sticks that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's that cost only one dollar and comes with three in a package I'm going to cut two sticks um, just the design that they have and then I need to cut to have three pieces that are seven inch this is just what I did but you can cut them the size that you want it depends on how big or small you want your project to be I'm gonna try to make a ladder and when you stick the small piece is just try to make sure that they have the same separation space between each one once I have the first part it's like a ladder I decide to add like a triangle on the top it's going to look like a small house and it's going to give it a really nice and unique touch to this project and I cut the size at a 45 degree angles to make like the little house shape on the top of this project and I'm going to stick everything with hot glue but you can use wooden glue just to make this project a little bit more stronger and I just add a Jenga block on top to make sure that these are well stick um, and this is gonna work too to be able to hang these on the wall Once I have that part ready, I'm going to be painting the whole project. You can leave it like the natural wood color, add some stain. But I decide to paint this project using shock paint in black color and then I let it dry. You can leave your project like that if you want, but I decide to give more dimension to this project using a sanding sponge and just start to sand all of the edges of the wooden pieces. From there, I decide to use some pots and I'm going to be using um, these smaller ones. They come in a set of three. Now I'm going to be adding some hot glue um, on the top and add a piece of twine because I want to hang these on my ladder. But just to make sure that it's not going to fall, I decide to add the hot glue. I have three pots, so I'm going to stick one pot on each of the steps of the ladder with hot glue and to reinforce it I'm going to be adding some popsicle sticks on the back too um, with extra hot glue okay once you have that part ready you can use these outside or indoors and you can add real plants I'm really bad um, with real plants I kill them all all the time so I decide to use some faux ones it's going to look amazing hanging on a wall and like I said it's great for indoors and outdoors Yeah. 
you can use these stir sticks that you can get from um, Home Depot or Lowe's. They cost only $1, comes three in a package. I'm going to be using two packages in total. Or you can use the sticks from Dollar Tree. I'm really using this piece, but basically what I did was to cut six pieces, stick all of them together with popsicle stick and then stain the wood. Super easy and simple. I'm going to leave you the link of that video in the description box. I want to make a sign with these. So I'm going to use my Cricut and I make a decal that says gardening tools. And I'm going to stick that on the top of these wooden piece. Or you can use a stencil, stickers, or write it by hand. Next, I want some kind of hooks and I found these ones at Dollar Tree. They are plastic, gray for glass, but I want to change the color. I'm going to be painting these black. It's going to look so much better. And then to stick them on the wood, I'm going to be using super glue and hot glue. Now for the gardening tools, um, you can go to Dollar Tree. They have, they have really good options, different kinds of tools and in different colors. I get the three different ones that they have in a gray color and I'm going to hang these on the hooks. And then I'm going to be putting these sign outdoors and it's going to be great for all of the gardening that my husband is doing. Not me, my husband. I'm really bad with plants, but at least I can help with the fun DIYs. <laughs> For the next product, you are going to need a wooden frame. You can get one canvas from Dollar Tree, it's a little bit smaller, or you can get this one that is pretty big, it's from Five Below, they come two in a package for only $5. I'm only going to be using the wooden frame, and I'm also going to be using these paint sticks that you can get at Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot, they are very cheap. And what I'm going to do is to measure the length of my canvas frame, and then I'm going to cut the paint sticks in that same length so I'm, I'm going to be using only two packages of these paint sticks um, because they bring three each one now I need to add some color to this you can paint this project any color you like or you prefer I love the wooden texture and color so I'm going to use some Waverly wax in antique color you can add a little bit of water if you want just to make the color lighter and it's going to paint easier and I'm going to be painting everything and then dry um, all of the wooden pieces with my heat tool once I have that part ready, I'm going to start sticking this into my frame. What I'm going to do is to use wooden glue or you can use maybe hot glue, but because I really want this product to be strong, um, you can use wooden glue. And I'm going to stick those sticks on my frame, leaving a small space between each one. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours and then once it's completely dry, this is how my project turned out. This is a wooden doormat that you can do, super easy. Cost me less than like $5 to make, looks beautiful on my entryway and it's perfect to put your sandals or shoes or even to use that as a decoration piece. For the next project, I'm going to be using these decor pieces that I get from Dollar Tree. These are super thick sticks that you can get. And the first thing that I did was to remove the tape that they has on the back side. 
then I'm going to be using these stir sticks that I get from Walmart. I think they are like 98 cents or something like that. They come three in a package and I'm going to be using them to make the steps of my ladder. So the first thing that I did was to make a mark on the length that I want to cut them and then I'm going to be cutting um, the three sticks with my saw machine. Once I have my three small sticks or like the steps of my ladder cut, I'm going to be using these sanding sponge to sand all the edges of the sticks just to make sure that they are going to look good and they are smooth. Now, before to stick the steps of the ladder, I'm going to be painting these two signs. I'm going to be using my Waverly Shock Paint in hazelnut color. And I'm going to give it two coats of paint to each of the sticks um, to make sure that it's going to cover well that pink color in all the letters and the designs that this sign has. Once that hazelnut paint dries, I'm going to be using my Waverly Shock Paint in plaster color. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be making a distressed look using the dry brush technique. And I'm going to paint my two signs. Now that I'm done with these two signs, I'm going to be painting the small wooden sticks using the same color and the same technique. You can use this same technique or maybe you can use another color to make this piece look a little a bit more modern with the distressed look this is going to look like more farmhouse but i really like it and i hope that you like it too okay now that all the pieces are painted and the paint is dry i'm going to be attaching all of these pieces together i'm going to be measuring with my ruler about two inches and a half from the top and from the bottom of my ladder to be able to stick the sticks i'm going to be using hot glue but maybe you can use wooden glue to make it stronger Once I was done guys, this is how my ladder looks and I really love it. This is a super easy DIY that you can do. I hope that you like it. I really like it. You can use it to put it on your kitchen and hang your kitchen towels. Or maybe you can put it on the bathroom or in the bench of your entry table. And it's going to look amazing. going to be using these steer sticks that I get on Home Depot. They come in a set of three for less than one dollar. The wood is super thick and I think it's going to work perfect for my project. I decided to cut one of the sides um, with my saw machine and once I cut it I am going to be using my sanding sponge to sand all of the wood making sure that it's super soft then i want them to stick them together so for that i'm going to be using popsicle sticks i'm going to cut them and then i'm going to stick them on the back side with hot glue you can use wooden glue to make it stronger and this is going to make all of the stair sticks stay together Next, it's time to paint the wood any color that you want or you prefer. I like the wood tones. So just to make it pop out a little bit more, I'm going to be using my stain in special walnut color. I'm going to paint this outside and then I'm going to let it dry. For this project, I want to make something a little bit different. So on my Cricut Design Space, I'm going to be working on images. I'm going to write wild flowers and I'm going to search and look for one flower that I like and I'm going to add it to my Design Space. I'm going to adjust the size and then I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to select the material. I'm going to be using just a regular 
um, vinyl but this one is removable um, because I'm going to use it not as a decal I'm going to use it as a stencil and you can do these with your crickets too if you want to add like a more kind of rustic touch to any piece I'm going to be using paint for that so I cut the flower with my Cricut maker but I'm going to be removing like the flower instead of all of the vinyl that is around the flower hope that makes sense once i remove that i'm going to add the transfer tape on top of my flower and then i'm going to be removing the back part this is how you can use any vinyl or any project that you did as a stencil Next, I'm going to be adding these um, on top of the piece of wood that I just did and I'm going to start painting. And I'm going to be using the same color that I used in the first project, this clay color that I mixed. And I'm going to be adding these with a sponge to make it look a little bit rustic. And once the paint dries, I can remove all of the vinyl that I have left. Once I remove all of the vinyl, this is how the flower looks on the wood and I really like how this project turned out. It's super cool and different and it's another idea that you can do to create any product. For the next project, I'm going to be using these 5 gallon stair sticks that you can get from Dollar Tree. But if you don't find these, you can also use some wood rulers from Dollar Tree. That is going to work amazing too. But I think this option is a little bit cheaper. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using these sticks. I'm going to be cutting like the design that has on one side. And then I'm going to be cutting um, three long pieces and then a few of smaller ones and medium ones. I use my saw machine to cut all of these pieces. And once I have that, I'm going to be sticking two long pieces um, together. And to stick them, I'm going to be using smaller popsicle sticks and I'm going to add them on the back side. But if you want this project to be outside, you can use wood glue to make sure that it's going to stick well. What I want to do is to create like a tree with some branches with these sticks so I'm going to be doing that I'm going to kind of like figure out how I want the branches to be and to look I'm going to be adding some long sticks and smaller sticks to make sure that I got that effect and once I figure that out I'm going to be sticking everything with hot glue but like I said if you want these piece to go outside which is totally fine I highly recommend you to use wooden glue to make sure that it's going to stick well Once I have that, I'm going to be marking some dots and then I'm going to be making some holes with my drill. This is going to be for um this is going to be for hand this is going to be for hang some pots and I want to put like five pots in this tree. So I'm going to be creating holes for all of those. Okay, once I did that, you can sand everything to make sure that you have a smooth surface. And then I decide to paint these with um, some black paint using my shock paint um, from Waverly. You maybe can use stain. I think that color can look amazing outside, but I want these to really pop out on my wall. So I decide to use the black paint. Then these are the pots that I'm going to be using. They are from Dollar Tree and they come in a set of three. I'm going to be using five of these. And also I'm going to be using these nylon um, cable ties. And these are going to work perfect to attach the pots on the wood, on the sticks. So, so that's why I made two holes on each of the branches where I'm going to be putting my pots. You also can use some wire, but using these nylon cable um, ties is super easy. I use the black ones because I think it's going to match so good, but they come in different colors too.
once I put all of my pots it's time to add the greenery and like I always said I'm really really bad having real plants and real flowers so I decided to go with some faux ones and I'm going to be adding some different ones but I think this is just so 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 perfect to put on your porch or on your patio and add some real plants I think it's so cool to maybe have some cilantro and things like that I don't know I'm really excited I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to add some real plants but I'm not sure yet I'm really bad at taking care of of real plants and flowers but anyway I'm gonna try that For this project I'm going to be using two packages of the stir sticks, each one brings three on them. So I'm going to use a total of six stir sticks and what I'm going to do I'm going to get three of them and I'm going to cut that small design that they have on one side but I'm only going to be doing that on three of my stir sticks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together. I'm going to try to make like a very long stir stick and to stick them together I'm going to be using popsicle sticks. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue on the back side and I'm going to stick that together and then I'm going to cut the popsicle sticks on half to be able to stick all of those three long stir sticks together. Now once I have that part ready, I'm going to start painting this. You can use any paint color you want. I'm going to use Moeverly uh, Wax in antique color. I'm going to paint this, let it dry, and this is how it's going to look. Now I want the word welcome. You can do it with your Cricut or you can use these very small um, popsicle sticks. You can get them, I think, at Walmart. And what I'm going to do is with a ruler, I'm going to start making the letters. The ruler is just for help me make the letters as straight as possible. And once I have all of my letters, I'm going to be painting them. Um, you can use any color um, to make sure that these pop out of my project. I'm going to be using some shock paint in white color. I'm going to paint them, let them dry. I did the word welcome except for the letter O. For the letter O, I'm going to be using this very small wreath that I have. Um, you can add flowers or greenery like I did. And that is going to work as the letter O for my project. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start sticking all of my letters on my project. I'm going to try to make a welcome sign. So I'm going to be sticking everything with hot glue. You can use wooden glue just to make sure that it's going to stay stronger if you want to put this outside. And then for the letter O, I'm going to use like a small um, drawing pin. I'm going to add that on my piece of wood and then I'm going to hang the letter O. And you can change the wreath for every season. Once I'm done this is how my project turned out super easy on a budget love how it looks you can put this outside on your front porch or you can use it indoors my love this is how all of my projects turn out I hope that you can get ideas on how you can use these stir sticks that you can get at Walmart Home Depot Lowe's um, or any paint store or hardware store they are very very cheap but you can do amazing decor pieces for your home on a budget with them if you like this video a big thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed that you check all of my links in the description box as well as my other channel just and my home we are posting every single week so make sure that you check that thank you so much for the love and support and see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>